The next tip for lowering blood pressure is more physical activity. This is the study. It's available in PDF format in the resources section for this course. The study was published in the journal Hypertension, which has an impact factor of 7, which makes it a good journal, not an excellent one. Impact factor of 10 or greater is considered excellent. 3 to 9 is considered good. The average journal has an impact factor of 1. This study was published in March of 2017. It was a systematic review and meta-analysis of 29 trials, including 330,222 adults. The follow-up period ranged from two to 20 years. The investigators found that increasing physical activity reduced risk of developing high blood pressure in the follow-up period. The researchers found that the reduction mortality kept increasing till it reached its maximum reduction at, this is about 130 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic exercise, the equivalent of brisk walking per day, or 900 minutes per week. So really, the more exercise, the better when it comes to reducing risk of high blood pressure. For the general population, recall, only 150 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity, shown in blue, uh, is necessary for close to the optimal reduction in mortality. So 150 minutes a week of moderate intensity if your blood pressure is normal, but if your blood pressure is elevated, essentially the more aerobic exercise you're doing, the better, all the way up to 130 minutes per day. Recall also there's a benefit for strength training when it comes to mortality, though it's less so for lowering blood pressure risk. Two sessions, 15 minutes each of an exercise that uses your major muscles against resistance per week reduces mortality risk by 46%. For ideas on incorporating regular physical activity into your life. I strongly encourage you to watch this course that I teach on the Udemy platform on increasing aerobic exercise and strength training.